Today we're starting a new project. I'm building a welding table. I've just been welding on, uh, for the past, I don't know, five years, I've been welding on this torsion box assembly table I made, and it's finally time to build a welding table. Overall, it's gonna be 96 inches long by 46 inches wide. 72 inches of that will be a welding slatted table, and 24 inches will be designated for plasma cutting, and it'll have slats, and so you'll see what I mean. Here comes the build, check it out. All right, so here I'm just using the uh, cleanup wheel to clean up where I'm gonna weld. Uh, I like to get all the mill scale and any oil off from the steel yard to make sure I get a very strong uh, and clean weld. You don't want any of that stuff in your weld. It's nasty. Using these square magnets that I have uh, to tack the frame together. Uh, I tack the bottom and the top of the frame here and just kind of piece it all together, use the squares, keep everything as square as I can. Uh, on this assembly table I have, which is why I'm, you know, replacing it with this welding table. The assembly table worked really well for the time I had it. Obviously, it's going to work well to build this table, uh, but I'm, I'm really excited to actually have this welding specific table now that I've got all the, the clean room in the shop. But I just tack the top and bottom, and then I kind of hit some of the corners. In this little section, I'm cutting up all the leg uh, pieces and the remaining parts, and then I'm going to weld them and, well, clean them first, and then weld them to the, uh, the top and the bottom section of the table. Again, I start with tacks, and then I slowly introduce beads, uh, but not until I have everything tacked up in this giant rectangle do I really start kind of piecing together with all the welds to, to minimize the steel uh, movement. Okay, so up until now you've seen the time lapse of me just cranking out the carcass. I want to show you what I've done. I want to explain a little bit of what I have and uh, we'll keep going. So check it out. The main bones of this welding table is 2x2 two two 14 gauge and as it sits right now it is 38 by 72 inches long and wide. 29 and 3 quarter inch tall which will f the final height will be about 36 when the slats are on and the casters are mounted. I'm leaving the ends open because I don't know if I want to do anything there in the future or not. So I'm going to leave them open. Normally I would cap them if it was furniture. Uh, but plus it'll also give me a good place to ground to that's completely out of the way and clamp to anything I need to. But next step is the casters. I'm going to weld those to some three inch eighth inch flat bar, then weld the eighth inch on. I got four inch casters. This says uh, 250 pounds per caster rated, so we're looking at a thousand pounds, which this table won't be a thousand pounds. All right, that's update one. I'm gonna keep working. So first I start off by cleaning the casters. Uh, I believe these are galvanized, and so you don't wanna weld to anything galvanized and then breathe that in, so I clean it all off with my uh, flap disc and then I kind of proceed to welding them to the, the flat bar and then I tack the flat bar to the, to the table base. This is where I'm going to install uh, or weld rather the casters to the bottom of the table. 
And I just hit him with a couple of beads on each side, and it seemed to do the trick pretty well. It rolls pretty nice, as you'll see here in a second. I got to call it quits today, pick up tomorrow, but I wanted to show you where I'm leaving off. I got pretty far, I think. Uh, I just have to cut all the one by three steel tomorrow and then make the plasma cutting section. Uh, but we'll see how that goes, check it out. So here's the carcass, the table base, if you will, on the casters. And let me show you the slats. That's it. Gonna continue it all the way down the table. And then on the bottom will be storage for stuff. I don't know. I'll probably build it out later once I get a better idea of what I need down there. This is where the plasma cutting section will be, and that will hopefully be put on tomorrow, and we'll be good to go. All right. Well, here I'm cutting all the steel for the next day's work. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next one coming up real soon.